Good afternoon, everybody. This is pretty sure it's Tuesday, May 8th, and I actually have a whole day off. So project it today. I've been wanting to do this for a year. Bought this place a year and a half ago and finally moved everything up, all my boats, um, from underneath my mother's shed. So they've never had a permanent home, and I didn't want them. I wanted them somewhere out of the way. So I did this today. I apologize. All oh, my canoes are dirty. It's what happens when you... I haven't been in the water. It was summer of 2016. Pretty sad. Long story short, sold my house, and you know how it is. Moved. But this year, we're doing it. Uh, all pressure treated material. I'm a long way from power back here. So I, uh, I went full country hillbilly because it works. And I cut everything, all this material with a chainsaw, including the miners. So it's my uh, uh, Golden Hawk. 13 plus foot square stern, camel one on the right, then my old school, old town still water, 12 foot. I floated probably close to a thousand miles or more in that canoe. It's the left, lower left one. Uh, I've owned that I think 22 years. I bought that, and drove it. It was cold as hell, in January of 97 maybe, 96. I drove all the way up to Dunn Sporting Goods in St. Charles and got that because I wanted a canoe. And then, of course, the top one there is my small uh, old town again, Angler Pack, which is just the most awesome. That's Royal X, by the way, that material. And I painted it because I'm, uh, you know, this is the way I do it. I painted it. I just wanted it uh, Digicam because it's mine. But uh, that thing weighs, that's Royal X. I think it weighs 30 pounds. Throw that thing on your shoulder and run, but it's perfect. Uh, I've done a lot of fishing in that canoe. You know, people ask me, why do you have free canoes? Well, it's just like shoes. Everything does a different, has a different purpose. I'll walk around here. You know, we have we have more than one pair of shoes. I did my racks here. Eventually this is gonna get tarp. Matter of fact, I ordered the tarp today. I'm hoping, best guess, 20 by 25 foot tarp should do this. I bought a heavy duty one. Well, it's, you know, a $60 tarp, but it's cheaper than, a $50 tarp, cheaper than building a building. I would have put a roof on this. And I would have framed it, but uh, the wasp, I don't want wasps or coons or whatever getting in these. So I'm going to tarp it. And then everything will be covered and all the uh, life vest and all my paddles. That's a two-part kayak paddle. I use it on this old town. Oh, man, talk about works. Right, come around. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I didn't plan on doing a video, but I was proud of this. This is the back side. And that's the square stern on that uh, Golden Hawk canoe. I'm telling you, awesome. I have a little Honda 2.3 horse outboard and it pushes uh, plenty of power. Well, why do I have three boats? Well, the lower left, the Golden Hawk, that's for going anywhere on the river, anywhere, up or down. This canoe, the uh, Stillwater Old Town, is for the family. It'll hold over a thousand pounds, close to it. And get all my kids in that. And it's stable. See how wide that is? I think it's close to 40 inches. Stable. I've taken a lot of rookie canoe people over the years. I mean a lot. Their first experience in a canoe. It's, it's perfect. You can stand up and fish out of that too. And then of course my uh, Old Town Pack Angler Edition, which is Royal X and just indestructible. And I'm telling you, what a great boat that is. I can go, I don't know, five, six inches of water just me, I weigh 200 pounds, and with that kayak paddle, of course, it has a bow anchor. It's just perfect. So that's the one I use. So, up or down the river, anywhere we want to go, the family floats, and for me. So, all right, everybody. What a great day. My tarp will come. And knowing me, I'll probably, I might TWP this pressure treated lumber. And yeah, I had to cut all the material see that miter i cut that with a chainsaw <laughs> i'm a long way from power but uh, it worked so all right everybody have a great day and i'm within a month time permitting i'll make it within a month we're gonna get uh, on the river so and i'll update that a brand new river to float out here i moved 40 miles west of home I used to float the burbis and merrimack river grew up on the merrimack but now I'm 40 miles plus west, and it looks like I'm going to float the Gasconade. Float and fish the Gasconade River. Of course, this is looking straight north here from my place. The Missouri River, 
mile and a half, if that, mile and a half straight from here, from where I'm standing. But I am not getting on that river in a canoe. I just I'm not. So it's not a recreational. The Missouri is not a recreational river. It's awesome, but it's fast and huge. And no, I don't want to get on it. So the Gasconade be a perfect river. And I like update videos. Take my daughter. We'll go and get her done. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you.